let the continuous random variable x have probability density function f of x is equal to e to the minus x and that's defined over the support x greater than zero. Find the probability that the floor of the random variable x is even. Well in this case the random variable x is a continuous random variable but the floor of x which will only take on integers is going to be discrete so it's a mix of the two here which is brought about by the floor function so the floor of x being even is equivalent to x falling in one of these intervals if x falls in the interval 0 1 when you take the floor of anything that falls between 0 and 1 the floor will come out to be 0 if you take the floor of any real number between 2 and 3 you will get 2 the floor of any real number between 4 and 5 is going to be 4, etc. So if we want to calculate the probability that the floor of x is even, that is equivalent to calculating the probability that x falls in the interval 0, 1 closed on the left, open on the right, plus the probability that x will fall between 2 and 3, again closed on the left, open on the right, plus the probability that x lies between 4 and 5, and again that is closed on the left, open on the right. So the probability x lies between 0 and 1 will be the integral of the probability density function, which is e to the minus x, between 0 and 1. The probability that x lies between 2 and 3 is going to be the integral of the probability density function between 2 and 3. And then the probability that x lies between 4 and 5 is going to be the integral of the probability density function between 4 and 5 etc. Now this is an easy function to integrate. The integral of e to the minus x is minus e to the minus x. So in this case, this first piece, when you plug in the limits, you're going to get 1 minus e to the negative 1. When you plug in the limits on the second case, you get e to the minus 2 minus e to the minus 3 third case you get e to the minus 4 minus e to the minus 5 etc. Now you can recognize that as a geometric series and the common ratio is negative 1 over e and because negative 1 over e falls between 0 and 1 this will converge to 1 over 1 minus the common ratio and the common ratio here is negative 1 over e so you get that quantity and if you multiply top and bottom through by e you get e over e plus 1 and when you calculate that to four digits you get 0 0.7311 now if you want to see the geometry behind this problem on the next page I used R to plot the shaded areas here which correspond to getting the floor of x being even and if you were to add up all of these shaded areas and again these go all the way out to infinity add them all up you will get about 0.7311